This is how we started, take one. Okay, 2016, this is kind of where this all really began. Um, what I'm going to do with this is try and just do it in um, just like chapters, I guess, like a part here and a part there, because it's, it's just going to be way too much to, to put together and have people remember, I guess. So I'm going to try and just leave it in chapters and see see how this runs. And then we'll go from there. Um, all right, yeah, take it back to 2016. Uh, started 2016, I went over to New Zealand for a holiday with my, at the time, partner. That was awesome. Loved the place. Didn't want to leave. Um, come home from holiday. Ended up making arrangements to move there. So fast forward to August, moved over there, settled in with some of uh, my partner's friends at the time. Uh, they were awesome. Shout out to them if they watch this. You guys are awesome. Helped me especially out a lot while I was there. Had a job lined up before I went there. That didn't work out kind of as I was hoping. So didn't really last too long there. Ended up going back to truck driving. That's what I was doing when I left here. So that just worked out there perfectly. Um, but since before I moved over there, I was looking for something to do like something for me to do on my own that I can build that I can call my own and just kind of do what I wanted the way I wanted to do it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people go through the same thing. It's hard to start, but once you start, it's like, it's like a drug. Like you just get addicted to it. You just can't, you just can't stop. It just evolves. It takes another step and another step and another step. And it just, it just blows your mind. It's crazy. So I went through about, 10 different ideas and maybe two or three notepads of things that I thought I would do and then when I looked into them just lots of legalities involved as well especially over there it's a little bit different to here um, just a bit full on and then one day okay so I had this bright idea that I would do a clothing company and the first name was actually called Yawn Co so Yawn Company like Yawn oh I'm so tired I want to go to sleep Yawn. That is, that described my life at the time perfectly. Just tired of so much shit. Um, that was the first thought, and then it changed into another name, and then another name. the The idea and the concept stayed the same. It was just the name changed, and then the name changed, and the name changed, and then finally ended at perspective. So that was cool because I have my perspective, you have your perspective. You see things different to me and I see things different to you. That's cool. So that's kind of how it worked in New Zealand. I'm gonna do my thing just a little bit like my way. And uh, it kind of worked. I've done some shirts, I made some stuff. Um, actually, we'll start with this. I'm going a bit backwards here, but this is, this is gonna work. It's gonna work. So I made this. This was the first screen, it's upside down. This was the first screen that I ever made and this is what printed my first shirts, which was awesome. I done this. This was this was after like six months of looking into stuff, researching, figuring out what brands of shirts are good to use, what suppliers were around the area I was in. Um, just lots and lots of research, and then this happened. And then I made two shirts, which I still currently have. I still wear to the gym sometimes. They're a bit thrashed, but they, they still get a workout. Um, but this started life as just a canvas from a little old shop called The Warehouse. If anyone's been to New Zealand, you know what The Warehouse is. It's like a Kmart kind of deal. Just really good place. It's unreal. Um, started as canvas. I ripped the canvas off, went to Spotlight, brought some of this uh, Swiss, Swiss Royal, Swiss Veil, I think it is. I can't remember the name exactly. Um, Brought some emulsion offline, brought some ink, um, and got to it. It took me three or four goes to get this. Uh, I did have another one that I tried to do that didn't work out too well, which is here. This is the 
stay fresh, be humble that I actually have printed, but I got the screen printer to do those for me. Okay, so going off the screen printing screen that I made, eventually down the track, I ended up speaking with a cardboard, like a box slash um, mailing courier bag company that had done custom stuff with your own designs and that. Um, I actually was trying to get a box made for that because the logo was perspective clothing. It was that kind of triangle logo. Um, I actually ended up making this. This was something I made, which is not really great, but it worked at the time. Um, and this was to be my template because I was going to get a box made like a triangle and your shirts folded up in there nicely. And if it was a hoodie or two shirts or three shirts, I had a bigger one that I was going to get made. Like I had it all, all sussed out. Dimensions, how it would work, just everything. Crazy. I had so much sorted out with that. And then fast forward, I guess. I have moved home in 2017. Moved back to uh, good old sunny Western Sydney. Um, and then it took me a while to get back up and running here because I had to start from nothing. I had no printer, no computer, no office, no inventory, like I had nothing. I had literally nothing. Um, I had to start again from scratch because when I moved over to New, Ze New Zealand in the first place, I got rid of everything to go there. So even to get a house, I had no furniture, no kitchenware, no nothing. Like I had uh, lots of good family members uh, help me out. Stayed with my brother for a while. Massive thank you to him. He knows it, but yep, massive thank you to you. Um, just big helps. People, just lots of good, positive people around to help um, me, like rebuild my life essentially. Um, and then started working, started putting money in the bank, started, brought a computer, brought a printer, uh, brought a desk, just slowly, slowly building up things that I needed to get back into the business. Um, and then the business name, it's actually bizarre. It was kind of a short but lengthy process coming up with the name. Um, I kind of wanted to keep the perspective because I had a lot of designs. I've got an external hard drive with so many designs on it. It's just ridiculous with perspective. They can all be kind of, I can kind of adapt them to add the beyond perspective in. Um, but that's just another thing down the track. I'll worry about that down the track. I'm trying, at the moment, I'm trying to establish this and get this where it needs to be. And then, um, and then we'll get to all the other stuff. I can start doing multiple different designs and just try not to do too much at once at the moment. But getting back to getting set up and the business name, we, I kind of come around beyond perspective. Um, it was kind of just something I threw out there talking to my current partner, which she's just phenomenal. If anyone follows me on social media, you'll see Emma on there all the time, just amazing woman, amazing, amazing. But she had a whole, Emma had a whole bunch of stuff written down in the uh, notepad that I didn't know about. Um, and she actually had Beyond Perspective on there. Before she had a chance to tell me about it, I mentioned it to her and she just kind of nodded her head and she was just like, yep, yeah, like that's the one. So. That's what we've been working with now, beyond perspective. <clears throat> the whole point of that is just my journey going from here and everything I was doing before then, I was into cars, I used to be a mechanic, qualified mechanic, uh, into cars, racing, drifting, all the stuff. Had a couple of skylines at the time, um, always working on them, going to the track occasionally when I could afford to, uh, and then pretty much selling everything. So all my all the cars, all the everything associated with them, everything moved overseas, started the business, everything kind of went um, pear shaped, I guess, and then ended up coming back here with nothing. The same way I went there, I come back here with nothing, which kind of sucked. But I had 
all the people around me to help me that were here before. So that was a massive help. And then that kind of tied into beyond perspective, like, uh, like the reasoning coming up with the name at the start perspective clothing was my perspective as opposed to yours. Like this is, this is me. This is how I see things. But now we're kind of, we're beyond that. We're beyond what the initial thought was and what my outlook, I guess, what my perspective on uh, of life and how certain situations happen and how you adapt to overcome, um, get better from those things, that all changed. So now it's beyond perspective. So whatever I thought or I thought that I knew that I would be able to do or would do or would try to achieve was out the window. Like it's, it's beyond that now. So it's just crazy. It's just crazy when the more I think about it, the more it just blows my mind because I just get all weird with myself about it. But, um, this is, I'm just being me. This is me being a weirdo. Just, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's beyond perspective. So life is, it's beyond. Where it doesn't matter how I see something or how you see something or how your best buddy four streets down from you see something. Like life is beyond that. Like we don't, as much as you think you're in control, you, you're kind of not. So it's it's bizarre to, to think that way, I guess, but that's that's the current current mindset we're just trying to do things um, not outside of ourselves, but just just a little bit beyond where we would normally be, you know, like the line in the sand is here. We're gonna just we're just gonna walk just on the other side of it and see see where that goes. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I don't know where it's gonna go, but we're here now. We got shirts, they're out and they're going so singlets as well uh beanies are on the way i'm still waiting to hear back about just some finalizing uh factors with uh what's what's going to happen and how that's all going to work um i've got another special uh little surprise that's going to come with that um hoodie pre-orders are up online now um, I've got to do some Insta stuff for that, but I'll do that today, but you probably won't see that until tomorrow because this is today. Um, yeah, um, just keep killing it. Just stay with it. Whatever you're doing, just go and smash it. Just don't worry about what anyone else thinks. So I'm still learning this because YouTube is something that I've never done before. And before moving home from New Zealand, it's something that I never comprehended because I just get so nervous when I talk to new people, um, especially a camera. Talking to a camera, I just never really thought it would feel the way it does. It's just a bit bizarre, but we're getting there. It's getting more comfortable every time I do it. Uh, I still feel like Ricky Bobby. I still don't know what to do with my fucking hands, but they're, they're there. Okay, so quick recap, I guess. This is chapter one. Um, I went to New Zealand for a holiday, started 2016. I moved to New Zealand August 2016. Um, I worked there. I kind of traveled a little bit around. I went to some shows in Auckland and stuff. Um, awesome. Awesome place. Awesome people. Love the culture. Everything I'd done there was just unreal, mind-bending stuff. I want to go back there. ASAP. Well, we actually are. We're going back there in Queen, going to Queenstown in September for snowboarding this year. So, can't wait to go there. That is just going to be unreal. Keen as. Um, I made some stuff. I sent some stuff over here. I sent some stuff to America while I was there. Um, I moved back to Western Sydney in at Christmas, 2000, end of 2017. Um, I've been back here since then, so that's all last year up to now, 2019. Um, we're out We're out here, we're getting it, we're learning. Uh, we've learned to snowboard since we come back, which I never even thought I would do before I went over there and come back, so 
just learned to snowboard. Now, currently starting to get into rock climbing, which is dangerous because that's just my mentality and my personality, I guess, is just addictive and things just seem to attract me in a weird way. So that's going to get very interesting very quickly. Um, snowboarding commences this season, June. June's our first trip. Uh, going to go as many weekends as we can, I guess, after that. Um, Hotham and all those areas are now on the Epic Pass, so we're going to try and smash those as well. And then Queenstown in September. And then just rock climb here, there, everywhere. Part one of my perspective done. I do not know how many more parts I'm going to do. Definitely going to be a few more. Uh, I don't know how many or where I'm going to stop. I'm going to try and get it up to now. Um, if I have missed stuff or skipped over stuff or things kind of don't make sense, um, I do apologize for that. I'm just trying not to write stuff down in a notepad and kind of read off a script, I guess. Um, I want to... I want to kind of say things as I remember them, um, just bring a bit more, a uh, bit, bit more emotion into it. I guess that way you can get the reaction from me as I say it, as I think of things. Um, just trying to be a bit different with it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, big, big pats on the back. Um, if you haven't checked out the website, go check it out. Uh, I've got singlets and shirts on there right now. I've actually got them in boxes here. Singlet shirts, white and black, small, medium, large, extra large. I've only got a couple of each um, and some I already sold out. So get them while you can. Uh, on the website, there is hoodies up for pre-sale right now. They're on they're going. I'm going to do a post about that soon and try and drive a bit more of that. Um, I do have one black and one burgundy hood left over from last year. I might do a giveaway on very soon, very soon to try and get some, get some stuff rolling with this winter gear. Thank you very much, guys. Part one is done. I uh, love the support, all the likes, shares. Uh, comments, good words, um, just love it. Facebook, Instagram, um, everything. It's awesome. All the people that liked it, all the people that have brought stuff, all the people that have pre-ordered stuff. Um, can't thank all you guys enough. It's unreal. All the support that I'm getting uh, makes me really happy to be here doing what I'm doing. So thank you very much. And until part two, peace.